Hello ladies and gentlemen, Top Hat Gaming Man here and I have decided that today is as good as any to once again talk about this whole CEX fiasco as there has been some rather interesting developments in this series of events recently. For me personally, this all started around six months ago after a visit to one of the local branches of CEX. I went in there and procured a Nintendo DS game in which I'd been looking for for quite some time. It was one of those games which was on the rather rare side and quite pricey as well due to um, supply and demand factors, um, if you will, or market forces as um, CEX like to put it quite corporately. So anyway, I get this game home only to notice that something is a little bit off with the box art. So, I pull out the box inlay only to discover a huge ugly CEX logo emblazoned on the inside. So, I quickly realised that I have been conned, I have been scammed, I have been sold counterfeit box art. Which isn't good at all, is it? So, of course, like any sane man, I go to social media to start moaning and complaining about all my woes regarding this situation. It soon turns out, um, upon um, taking social media, that many people had shared a very similar experience to myself. There was many people out there who was also moaning about being sold these expensive games only to find out that um, the boxes they came in were copies. Amongst all of this, I was contacted by someone named Matt, who had a YouTube channel called Pomelo Pictures, and um, had also shared the same experience too. Um, since this experience, Matt has produced a whole series of um, investigative videos um, regarding this CEX problem, and it appears to be rather rife and um, rather nationwide. These um, counterfeit boxes are literally everywhere and CEX have no shame in um, doing so with this. There's really expensive games out there like high-end stuff, games what people pay 300 to 400 pounds for and cheekily they have been producing this uh, box art and not informing uh, the consumer on purchase. Since all this has happened, um, CEX appears to have caved in somewhat from the amount of videos that have been uploaded with people complaining about this situation. And now CEX continue um, to print box art, but by the looks of things they have started writing clear in view on the front that um, the art is a reproduction produced by themselves. So they are not tricking consumers like they once were, which is nice, I must say. However, it's still an absolutely huge breach of copyright, which I'm quite surprised that they are willing to uh, take part in as a major retailer, especially with regards to reprinting loads of stuff owned by Nintendo. Nintendo are absolute psychopaths when it comes to suing companies. Like, look, they've taken down all those ROM sites recently for just having art on their front page what looks like Nintendo art. And CEX have been reprinting Nintendo art themselves. Like, openly reprinting it. And Nintendo have yet to go after them, but one assumes they probably will if they don't change their practices soon. But anyway, as I said, today we are going to be talking about the latest developments in this whole fiasco. I thought I would just recap everything to you very briefly for anyone who is new here today. And the latest developments is an image I have seen going around on social media. It was first sent to me um, by Retro Hunters, which is a local um, retro gaming store located in Southend. A really good little shop actually where you can procure various things and the gentleman will do you a deal. This isn't an endorsement by the way, this is generally how I feel as a customer. I will add that quickly just in case um, someone assumes I've been paid off or some dirty tactics like that. Anyway, it wasn't just me. Uh, Retro Hunters posted this image on his main social media page for the world to see. And this image showed a gentleman outside CEX known as Matt Allwright with a big television camera facing him. Anyway, this Matt Allwright, for those of you who live in the colonies overseas and do not watch British television, Matt Allwright is um, a television presenter and he has a particular niche of television shows. And most of these television shows revolve around basically exposing scams and um, 
dirty business tactics which are undertaken by certain corporations. Um, one example of these shows is a show called Rogue Traders, which would be the perfect fit um, for CEX considering what they get up to. Like, for all we know, this has nothing to do with printing box art, and CEX could be up to all sorts of other nonsense too, but we don't know because it's not aired yet. But this could be an episode of um, Rogue Traders. Matt all right uh, regularly on this show um, turns up at little old ladies' houses who have been conned by cowboy builders who have um, built illegal double glazing in their houses and stuff like that. And basically, um, Matt and this other bald gentleman um, confront um, the dirty scammers a lot of the time. So he's like, what are you doing? Why are you scamming little old ladies? So it's an entertaining show. Basically, it's public humiliation. So you get your dirty, um, your dirty scammers and then they get um, publicly humiliated on national television. It's a really good concept when you think about it. So it'd be great if CEX are about to finally appear on Rogue Traders. But this Matt Allwright, as I said, he does a lot of shows like this across, is a whole genre basically. He's also on another show known as Watch Dogs, which is again another show about exposing um, um, dodgy business tactics which are undertaken by large corporations like I can't think of any examples of what has taken place on Watch Dogs, but it's a similar sort of thing as um, the other one, Rogue Traders, only it tends to tackle a lot bigger business, for example, like McDonald's might be selling Super Size Me burgers um, unfairly or something like that. I'm literally just making up examples off the top of my head because I can't think of a good one. But it could be Watchdog, it could be Rogue Traders. However, it could be another one as well, which I've recently found out about. He also presents a show known as Fake Britain, which is all about counterfeit goods and uh, the sales of them. So, bearing in mind CEX have been selling a lot of um, counterfeit merchandise by the looks of things, um, it would also be a perfect fit for that show. So, either way, the presence of Matt Allwright outside a CX branch does not bode very well for them, does it? It is quite clear that they appear to be in hot water um, with the mainstream media, doesn't it? Although, one last thing to add, it, although it is absolutely lovely to finally see the mainstream media bringing attention to this brand, it's also great that all of the YouTubers out there and all of the gamers on Twitter have constantly been loud and proud regarding their anger about this situation. Who have actually expressed, um, hmm, what's the word? A distaste for being conned. They've basically been telling everyone. They've been shouting it from the rooftops. Like people have been regularly watching the CX videos I have been making, and they've been regularly watching CX videos from a variety of channels across YouTube. All I'm saying, if it wasn't for the YouTube community and the gaming community, then there is a good chance that um, the BBC or whoever produces these Matt Allwright shows would have not heard about this whole situation. So once again, thank you to all of you so much for continuing to support our war against scammers and con artists. So thank you once again, and thank you as well to the mainstream media for actually helping us out on this whole situation. Well, that's at least how it appears anyway. Although, one last thing I will add, all of this is obviously just me making predictions and um, inferences based on this image and what I know about Matt Allwright. For all I know, I could have got the whole thing completely wrong and CX could just tie into a greater narrative regarding a different con completely. However, when you add up all of the facts regarding this situation, it looks pretty clear that the subject matter at hand will be CEX itself. So it'd be great to finally see these corporate twats get a little bit of comeuppance, won't it, ladies and gentlemen? Anyway, before I finally go, I would just like to hear one more time some stories from yourself regarding some of your negative experiences with CEX. Have you been a victim of um, these scams of selling counterfeit box art? Um, or have you just bought counterfeit goods from there by accident in general? Anyway, let me know in the comment section about some of your experiences and also let's hear some of your predictions about which Matt Allwright show um, this um, CEX thing's gonna take place on. I'd be curious to hear some of your thoughts. Yeah. Cheerio!